Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. In this lesson, we're going to allow our app to share our recipes using built-in functionality of Windows 8. So Windows 8 has a common way to allow sharing and searching across all apps called Charms. And you can see Charms whenever you either use the, uh, the Windows uh, button and C on your keyboard to bring the Charms out from the right-hand side, or you can just hover your mouse cursor off to the lower right hand side and it'll bring up the charms and I'm sure you're already familiar with these if you've been using Windows 8. Uh, but for example if I wanted to share a um, let's say I have an image that I want to share and I only have one image and uh, I'll want to share this by making a selection and then bringing up the share charm and now I can send it, for example, in an email. And you can see that it already gives me a thumbnail version of that. And I can go ahead and send that off. So that's an example of sharing. Now in order to set up our example, what we're going to want to do is uh, download and install. So let me start by saying that we are in lab number three, working with contracts, search and share. So let's go to the to the instructions in exercise one, task number one. And it tells us to, uh, to go ahead and run our app as it is. Specifically, we want to get to the uh, item detail page. And here we're going to attempt to share. And when we do, we'll see the, uh, the notification that this app can't share. More correctly, this specific page can't share uh, within our app. And so we're going to rectify that in this example. Now to set this up, what you're going to need to do if you kind of jump ahead and look in the instructions is that we're going to use a special little app that was that comes in the Windows 8 SDK samples pack. And you can download it individually. You don't have to download all like 143 megs of the uh, Windows 8 SDK samples. Uh, if you were to go to Bing and just search for sharing content target app sample, it should bring you to this page. And so you should download whichever version you want. I downloaded the C Sharp version and I already have it installed or in my downloads folder. Then in my downloads folder, I just right clicked and select extract all and I extracted to, I think I call the directory sharing. And so I'm not going to do it again because I've already done this once. But let's take a look at the sharing directory and you can put it wherever you want to. Uh, inside of that, so on the C drive under sharing, uh, I went to the C sharp code and double click the share target uh, video studio solution file. And now when I uh, run this app and I go to, for example, the photos, and I want to share this photo, it should show up now as one of the share targets. And I select it, and it'll give us a little information, just uh, one photo file from the Photos app, and then information about the, uh, the package content, and so on. And so we're going to use this as the target in this lab, uh, just so to, to kind of set the stage here. So now let's add the ability for our, our item detail page in our Contoso cookbook to allow sharing. And so we'll follow the instructions, which include adding a number of namespaces. The, uh, the namespaces will be for things like transferring both textual data and photo data or bitmapped images from our recipe detail into the uh, into the the share uh, uh, contracts uh, return value, I guess you would say. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the using statements and just add them here at the very top of my of my item detail page .cs. The next step is to then register for data requested events. So we're basically saying, hey, if you the if the user invokes the share charm while my page is open, please let me know because I'm going to execute uh, this on data requested event handler. All right, so that's all this is doing. And we're supposed to put that in the 
load state. So as the page first loads up, we're gonna go ahead and register for data requested events. As you can see, we don't have the on data requested event handler just yet. So let's go ahead and add that in. That's the next part. And that's the code that you see in step number three here. So let's copy that and I'm gonna paste it right under the load state event handler. And uh, the most interesting thing about this is that it is using this data requested event args. And so Windows 8 is requesting information from us. We grab that request and we start setting values in that request. For example, this time we're setting the data properties title and data properties description. And we're going to then set the text of data to whatever recipes uh, and you know, this is just a string with all of the recipe information pulled from our recipe data item object. And so I think there's just one more thing we need to do here. And yes, at the very end, so as our page is unloading, this save state event will be called. Uh, and so we wanna say, don't let us know anymore about sharing. We're not interested. We're not the page in charge active right now. Okay, so that's all that's doing. And so let's go ahead and then run this. All right, and we'll just go into our first uh, recipe here. And then I'm gonna bring up the share charm. And as you can see, I still have the share target C sharp sample running. That's intended because now when I click that, we'll be able to see all of the text that was set in our, um, in our application. And just to kind of make sure we understand that, how, was it, how did it get set? Because we set not only properties of the data, but then also the data itself to our directions and ingredients right here. Great. Okay, so then the next part of this is to also enable sharing of the image itself. And so to do that, it's just one simple addition. All we need to do, here, let me just copy that, is add this, these three lines of code to the on data requested uh, method. And so we'll just put those here at the bottom. And so you can see here now we're, we're populating the request.data.properties.thumbnail and data.setbitmap. So we're setting the image for it. So it all comes down to this args that was passed in, the args.request. And then args.request, we're just setting various aspects of this data object that is then plucked off by the receiver, that other app that we created, or that we uh, actually just ran from the samples, the share target C sharp sample. Okay, and now we can see the thumbnail image and we can see the large bitmap image. Very neat. So this whole exercise serves a second purpose and that is that if you want to be on the receiving end of whatever's uh, exposed by the share contract, then take some time and take a look at the source code inside of this share target uh, app. And I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not as familiar with it as I probably should be, uh, but we can learn you know, how it performs its magic by just parsing through this and reading the, uh, the explanations and so forth. Okay. So that was pretty painless, right? We can now copy recipe data into other apps. What if we wanna be able to search for a recipe uh, and maybe even search for a recipe if our cookbook app isn't already opened. Well, in the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to enable uh, searching from the search charm and how to, uh, to implement the search contract. So we'll see you in that lesson. Thank you.